This is a 2004 Toyota 4Runner Limited V8. I just purchased it and the rear liftgate will not open. There's a lot of videos on this, but um, all of them seem to be able to get the hatch open. I can't get it open at all. So I'm going to show a video on how I'm going to try to open it. This one's got a lot of rust right here, almost pushed through. So when you push the button, I'm going to push this right here, and you'll hear it, and wait a few seconds, and that's all it does. So the, when I push this, it doesn't move. Oh, these crows are getting crazy out here. Won't move, and it just pulls back in. So inside the vehicle, I've got the rear seats down. And when you get in the car, you'll see, sorry about these crows, they're getting all crazy out here today. It's, let me see. All right, get inside here. And you can see someone put some, pulled the weather stripping right off. And uh, the, this weather stripping, they must have really been trying to break through here. So they ripped all this out, which doesn't help at all. Um, I open this hatch here, but the problem is there's a lever in there and Hopefully you can see this. Let me see if I can zoom in Right here. Whoops. Sorry about that Right here. Well, maybe you can't see it Right here you can see where they bent all the sheet metal trying to pry on these two levers that are inside there. They pried so hard on those levers. There's two levers. Let's see if I can get a better look at them. Okay, there's the one lever and there's another lever right below it. If I grab these two levers nothing they will not move the latch is just completely stuck so there's a few videos on how to remove this door but all of them are with the door open so I'm gonna try and do this with the door closed and try and pull this apart hopefully it works out so what I've got to do is take off that axis there take off the 10 millimeter Trying that off. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. <clears throat> oh wow, that thing's in there good. Okay, <clears throat> 10 millimeter bolts out. Next, I guess there's clips all around here. So what I'm going to use is, this is like to open paint cans. I was hoping this would fit in there. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh jeez. Okay, the other option I have is, this is off a dent, a dent puller. This right here. Maybe I can get that under there. Nope. Oh yeah, that worked. Oh. Okay. So this whole panel just came off. Um, that worked really good using a dent puller. Hopefully you can see this. Let's see. There's the dent puller. That worked really well. So this is off like a slide hammer it's just a dent puller and I've got it on a threaded rod but you can just leave it on your slide hammer if you have one of those. Alright so let's get this one out of the way. Oh yeah someone's definitely been in here. I can tell someone's been in here because there's no plastic and wow look at that big hole right through the um, that rust hole it is right through. 
That's great. Good job, Toyota. All right. <clears throat> Anyways, now we've got to try and figure out how to get that plastic. This lid off of here. Oh, nice. I cut my hand open. That's good. So there's another 10 millimeter down here. And if I haven't mentioned, I have been spraying this through here with PB Blaster every day and it's done nothing. Wow, you can see how bent this all is from somebody prying on it. Okay, that's the other 10 millimeter out. Now, I'm not sure how this is removed, but it feels like this connector might have to be undone. So I'm gonna pull off this connector. There's a little connector right here. So let me try and get that off. I'm not sure how it is. Okay, it's actually inside. There's a button right here. And this one comes off. That's off. This is off. All right. I'm going to maybe use some channel locks. Hmm. This thing does not want to come off there. I'll try and pry this up. Sorry, guys. I don't know how this comes off. I think there might be a clip somewhere. Oh, that's broke. Uh, I don't know if there's a clip, but something's holding this thing. I don't really care about it because I'm getting a new one, but let me see if I can figure out why this thing's stuck. that little tiny there's a little tiny screw on the side here I don't know if I can even get it to it to get it out but that's the only thing I see See anything else that's holding this in this little plastic piece on here? Oh, my thumb's bleeding pretty good. I don't know what I hit it on. thing because I have no idea what's holding it. I'll bend back the metal. But I'm kind of done with this door problem.
jeez. I have no idea what was holding that thing on there. But it's off. Sheesh. And actually, the motor looks in good shape. I mean, well, I don't know. It doesn't look that bad, but I still don't see how I can get to the mechanism that would release this. Still not going to let me release it. And there's no way to get to the bolts because they're underneath this. Let's see. I could probably spray more penetrating lubricant, but I don't think that'll help. Let me see if I can. There's a. Show you here. There's a little latch. thinking if I push on that spring right there let me try that oh that's good see any way to disconnect any of this motor hmm. I mean there's a screw here and a screw here which might take the motor out of the equation but they're definitely smaller than a 10 millimeter and that would get the motor out of the way but I don't know if that will help me there is a lever I don't know if you can see that but there's a lever right right here I'm gonna try and move that I don't know that'll do anything I don't even know if I can move it nope that does not move huh. Let's see what happens when I plug this back in and what this motor does. So I'm going to go back outside, push the button. Okay, let's get this zoomed right in there. Hopefully, we can see something happening. I'm guessing, I don't know if this helps or not. Trying to find a way to make the flashlight stay on there without all the shadows. Try that. Alright, let me go push the button. Let's see what happens here. that pulled all the way back hmm I think I'm gonna have to take off that little motor get it out of the way let me grab a socket Alright, 
I got some sockets here. So let's see if uh, one of these sockets will work. I'm going to try a 7 millimeter maybe. If I have one small enough to fit in there. Uh, let's try an 8 millimeter. Yep, 8 millimeter. Alright. So, this screw and this screw is what I'm going to try and take out. Um, get this motor away from here and see if that does anything. This might make it worse. I don't know. At this point, I don't really care because. Okay. No way to get to that one. Eight millimeter. Better take this off. I just remember this is, I mean, this is probably the improper way to do this, but the problem is this. I've been working on this for a while. Oh, there's a third one right here. I didn't see that one. This is to the last resort, last ditch effort. Get the motor out of here. Get it out of my way. Hopefully I can get to the latch mechanism. Like there's another wire down there. I don't know what that goes to. Some kind of sensor is down there. Okay, let me move this back. to see the mechanism all right let me see if i can get this camera in here where i can see it all right where is it at Right there. So you can see right here is the mechanism. You can see this is all the way pulled up and it will not release. Put my shoulder into it. like it's not doing anything there's an end switch right there feel this whole truck moving that's how hard I'm pulling on this thing so 
this won't move until this one moves so I got this one pulled up and then this one pulled up and it's not doing nothing okay so let's see if Is that when this comes up that shows it's fully open it just doesn't want to do anything so latch is obviously broke I just have to figure this out let me see that thing's up let me try and try that it seems like the opposite way but See the mechanism that's supposed to move. I might have to just break all this stuff out of here. I, you cannot see anything in here. And I don't even know how I can get this out because there's three screws holding it all in let me get some of these wires out of here zip tie there looks like there's a plug on the motor here I don't really care about that Sorry, gotta break that shit out of here. Sorry about the language, I'm getting a little frustrated. I, I thought I'd be able to get in here and... Ah. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get this big piece out of here. It looks like it's all press fit. Everything's hooked from below. I don't know, even if I get a grinder there's a pin right here I can't get past that pin and maybe I can show you this detach the camera here okay. this is what it looks like on the inside So anyways, when I pull up this lever, that releases this one. So right now this one won't move. I pick up this one. Oh, now they're really jammed. Now nothing works. Yeah, it doesn't like me anymore. Okay. So there's a bolt right here. Um, the only thing I can think of is if I take a grinder and grind that, I just can't get past the spring area here. This entire section right here, there's really nothing to see. I can't get into it. There's a bolt right straight down. And I believe there's another one on this side, but I can't get to it. see you know what there's a lever right there I wonder if I can get to that I don't know if you see that little release lever I did not see that Let me put this back I really don't care how long this video has to be but I'm figuring this out this might be a two hour video
think the lock or unlock is going to do anything. Oh, but that might be a lock mechanism down there. freaking Metabo so I can get in there real close to doing that I don't know if I can get my Metabo in right here though I think I could cut it here big piece of steel is a little hard okay this lever this lever right here takes that little pivot and spins it that way so I'm gonna try and spin that pivot I don't cut my hand open on this truck See this pivot right here but I think that's what I need to get to is that pivot and if I can get to it it should release it Try the dual screwdrivers here. What I'm trying to do is this thing is like an L shape. I'm trying to pry this way and push this way. So I'm hoping I can do it. Sorry, the blood all over my hands. about as hard as I can do it and it is not moving I don't even know if I cut this thing out if it'll help me in any way I think I can get my metabol across there and across here I think that's enough to get this thing out of here all right I guess we're going to come down to the Metabo and see if I can get it to fit in here. Hang on. I'll be right back.
cut that. And I don't know about that. I'm going to have to bend this sheet metal. I know. Other way. fit in there. I can get right there. Let's see if I can put this light on here. side cut through I'm gonna bend this thing I think now I can get to this other side I still can't see anything in there. I might have to just keep cutting. I mean, all I got left is that bolt, and there's probably another bolt right here. Move this piece of metal. Feel back there. Yeah, that's the other bolt. The bolt there. There's two bolts or three. Oh, there's three. There's two on this side and one on this side. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I don't even know if that will help break this free. I'm going to cut off this last piece right there. I think that will do something. Well, I don't know if it will. Where's the shot? Alright, this is out. Alright. Everything comes down to that pin now. It's the only thing left. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some PB Blaster. I'm going to heat up this with a torch. And that's really all I got left. I, I don't know how else this thing's staying together. 
I gotta go grab my torch and grab some PB blaster. I'm gonna spray it in there. So give me a minute. Let's see if I can go do that. got the PB blaster soak this really good stuff works pretty fast so I've, I've been pretty impressed by it but I'm gonna soak the crap out of it because this has been a week-long project trying to get this thing out of here and I don't really care about cutting all this stuff out because it doesn't work anyway so Let's see if we can get that latch mechanism to move now. All right, back to the 2004 Forerunner. What I think I'm gonna have to do is I think I'm gonna have to cut this right here. Cut this right out, cut this out. And I think I'm gonna be able to pull the tailgate away from the vehicle. And I'll have to chop it the rest of the way from there. I've been hammering on this and hammering on it the only thing i haven't done is used a torch but the reason i'm not using a torch is this is all plastic right here and it's just going to melt i will try the torch for a minute and see what happens all the plastic melted and it's on fire all right Still on fire. <laughs> the 
This is why I don't want to use a torch. There's some snow. Good stuff. use the torch. For that reason, right there. Because there's a plastic shroud that surrounds that. There's still a fire down there. Sorry, this is some nasty stuff. Oh, still a fire. Is this fire not going to go out? I guess I'm going to have to get some damn water. Alright, 
still fire going. A lot of plastic. I'm almost to last resort, which is cut the thing off and try to open the door. The fire thing method did not work. Alright, I'm gonna try and this big hammer here. And hit it with the small hammer. My concern is that if I cut this and cut this, even though I'll be able to open the door, it might not open. I don't know, I think it will open. Let me see if my metabo will fit. Goes that way. I'm a cobble it will not fit. It'll cut a hole through the side of the truck. I don't have any other way to cut that. I don't have a smaller wheel. Well this is even more hard to move. That's good. So I basically melted it together. That doesn't move at all now. doesn't move much. Is this thing still on fire? I mean I'd love it if I could back even if I back these screws out from inside here it, it won't let me open the door. I have to cut this off right here and here and I think the only way to do that is with a Dremel like I said, this this wheel is just too big. Yeah, this wheel is just too big. I'll end up cutting through the side of the truck. This side might not maybe I'm gonna make it in a really small wheel. Hmm. Okay, this thing's completely cut away. So I'm gonna try and pry the door open. should push away. This door hasn't been open for so long. I'm gonna do something drastic here. I'm gonna kick the damn door. Try and get it to open. I don't know if there's side pieces that latch. I'm gonna go, uh, I don't know. Is there hooks on the side of this thing? No. This door has been open in years, so I don't know what's still holding it. Ah. 
the hinges may be stuck. I don't know. Uh, but I want to make sure there's not like a side latch. Stand by. Okay, I have another forerunner in the garage, and there is no other latch besides this one. And I'm only guessing that this is just so stuck on here from all the years. I don't know. I got that thing cut completely free. this whole tailgate if I can get it open let me see this thing does not want to move Okay, so now that thing's completely broke free. We cut both sides. And now the trunk opens. Ah. And this is what it looks like in here. See, I melted it and started a big old fire. Um, this is what's still stuck on here. And now I get to figure out how to get this off so that'll be the next fun thing to do but I got the back trunk open so if you want to have two hours of fun get yourself a small grinder wheel and cut these off and cut up your finger and hopefully you can't see all the blood everywhere all right so now I'm gonna work on this This thing is uh, kicking my butt. Here's that thing that was uh, we were trying to turn. This is coming off. And this thing is still hanging on. I've been trying to smash and beat it. Every bit of it is broken apart. There it goes. Jeez. All right, anyways, there's the latch that's completely froze stuck. So, if you ever get one of these, that's how you got to do it, is cut everything out. Don't use a torch. Waste of time. It just melted my bumper all up. This is where the fire was, right here. Um, so don't use a torch. Just cut the wings off of that thing. That's the way you're going to have to do it. But, uh, this thing fought me to the bitter end. Anyways, I hope this helps someone else. Don't use a torch, because you'll just melt your whole bumper, like I did. A PB blaster didn't work. Get yourself a good bimetal blade on a multi-tool, and cut those two wings off. They're actually right here. You're going to have to cut them off from the inside. And then you can get these 10 millimeter bolts out and then you're going to have to replace everything. But you won't have to bend all this stuff up like I did. But uh, hey, it's open. Now I got to just put some parts on it to put it back together. Here's what's left. All the debris that had to be cut apart. All right, so the job's done. Well, not completely. You can see uh, this didn't like all the hammering. I gotta fix that. I wish I could just get another tailgate. That'd be easier. Maybe I can. And uh, I gotta take. I'm gonna leave these three bolts till I get the new part. And uh, just got done cleaning up everything. But uh, this is what we're left with. This and some screws and some covers. 
So, if you, I guess the moral is, if you just cut off those two tabs, and then, uh, I don't know if you can see what this is on right now, you just cut off those two tabs, you, you're going to replace all this anyways, but you cut off the, this tab and this tab, um, get yourself a good saw blade on a multi-tool and you can fit it in there you won't have to bend all this up like i did and make all the mistakes that i did hopefully this video helps somebody and uh you guys will be able to do this project without uh, a disaster like i caused um so just cut off all the pieces and um the biggest thing is just get all this stuff out of your way all this is going to come together anyway so just cut this off this bracket cut this bracket off and then cut this bracket off and I had to beat this thing and it's still locked up it's still not unfroze I just broke it all apart and got it out of there but if you got a better way let me know I hope this helps somebody and uh just uh let me know what else you're looking to do because I'm going to try and videotape everything I've got it's just trying to edit all these videos I don't know how you guys do it I'm impressed have a good one